What? Who are you? You can't just go on the stage as you please. Ah, I see. Sorry for my overreaction. I'm just, uh, making a prop. No time for chit-chat. Is that embroidery? No. Well, yes. But not really. It's a prop. It's just, uh, some fabric. An ordinary piece of fabric that we use in a show. Uh, sorry. I really do need to focus and start working on it. What an oddball! Is prop making something to be that jumpy about? Oh well, it's none of our business. Hey there! Ah, a newcomer. Doesn't look too bright. Hey! Talk about judging a book by its cover! You, on the other hand... Hmm... You're a special one. How would you describe the concept of art? Mere curiosity is all. It makes no difference whether you answer or not. So that's what you think, hmm? Unremarkable. Better than an average person's thoughts, but nothing exceptional. Is art a product that we create and bring forth? Or is it a naturally existing resource? I, for one, believe it to be the latter. Uh, Paimon doesn't follow. I've been staying here for a long time. On occasion, I'd assist them in penning lines of dialogue. But most of my time, I just stand back and watch. I prefer to abstain from writing, as it spoils the viewing experience. The existence of the theater, of Nilu, and of humanity itself. All of these can be considered as forms of art. It is not some intangible construct beyond the horizon. How does that have anything to do with us? Let me ask you this. What do you think is the meaning of art? <laughs> I suppose that question was a little too difficult for you. To chance on a spark of inspiration. I have been closely observing you, the players on the stage, and those watching in the audience. Art is already all around us. Blade is like a tea leaf. Only those who sample it may. Hey there! I saw you two helping Nilu move some stuff. Are you two also here for the celebration event? You got it! My name is Raycar. Nadia and I are this theater's prop engineers. I also help out with some other tasks like housekeeping. The little ones causing a ruckus are my children, Sorin and Abi. I hope they aren't bothering you. They always get really excited every time we hold celebration events. Yes, they are. Everyone here takes great care of them. There's good work here, the pay's always on time, and Nilu and the others will often volunteer to play with the kids. I'm quite content with this current way of life. Um, do you mean your life wasn't nearly as good before? It's all right. It's all water under the bridge now. My husband and I were both adventurers, but he passed away from an accident. Material struggles can always be overcome, but ever since then, I haven't been able to spend much of my energy on anything else. But I still consider myself lucky. Mr. Zubair has helped me a lot, and the atmosphere here is tolerant and kind. Sorry for bringing up such sad memories. Oh, it's all right. I don't mind. Once the event starts, you'll be able to see for yourself the kind of atmosphere I was talking about. Look! Neil is back! Let's meet up with 
here. The event's probably about to start. Everyone is here. How did everything go? Any luck with your missions? Let's report back one by one. I'll start first. We've made the necessary modifications to the Akasha Terminal. In addition, the props required are also ready. I'll go next. The Traveler and I went to Party's DI. The situation was a bit... complicated. But we found Tainari. Unfortunately, he was wounded during a fight. Who is behind it? Uh, well, that's the tough part. What should I say, Traveler? The Fatui or the Balladeer? <sighs> After some back and forth, we confirm that the doctor has left Sumeru by boat. He has something urgent to attend to back in Snezhnaya. So, we've successfully removed the doctor from the picture. Also, Tainari's already resting, so he'll be okay. Hmm. <laughs> Good. To tell you this message. Trust your own senses and experiences. <sighs> All right. I'll remember that. Everything also went smoothly on my side. The Aramites should have arrived at their destination by now. To avoid alerting the quarry, they will stay there for now. I can't believe you actually got so many Aramites into Sumeru City. It's all thanks to Ramon and his brave team as well as their bold strategy. It appears to have been very effective. I'm glad to hear it. Well, is that everything? Okay, this meeting is adjourned. Huh? Wait, you mean that's it? Well, what else is there to discuss? Shouldn't you end with some words of encouragement? You know, to fire us up now? Personally, I'd rather we all go home and get some rest. Hmm. <sighs> I'll hate them, you... Ugh. Oh, and if you wanted someone to say something to that effect, then I must reiterate that I'm here to strategize and not to lead. So you should find someone more suitable to do that. But I thought all of you Academia Big Shots were great speakers. Then I should remind you that I'm the scribe. I know that. So what? The scribe is responsible for recording meetings, not speaking. Fine, whatever. Well, Sino doesn't seem to be much of a talker either. I guess that leaves it to my employer. Employer? Yep, the Traveler hired me. <laughs> That's right. So come on, boss. What do you have to say for the team? doing here? Oh, it's Nero! Hey, everyone. I'm not disturbing you, am I? Not at all. I was actually just about to go find you. <laughs> uh, judging from the group and all your serious faces, you were discussing something important, weren't you? But you also look like you're up to no good. <laughs> Seems pretty interesting. Welcome, Nilu. Would you like to join us? Huh? Join you? You mean... You also want to discuss something important... with me? Yes. Something very important. Nilu, are there any breaks in your performance schedule in the upcoming days? Huh? Wait, you're seriously inviting me? I... I can't believe my ears. You are truly the bravest and most passionate people of Sumeru... Well, that... I've ever met. Ahem. 
Oh, right. The Traveler and Paimon are not from Sumeru, but you are awesome as well. <laughs> That's right. I... I must admit that I'm a little scared, but I'll try my best for Lesser Lord Kusanali. If I can somehow use my abilities to help you, then count me in. Remember, believe in yourself. Okay. I'll get my friends at the Grand Bazaar to help us tomorrow. Just remember not to say too much. Be discreet. Yep, you got it. All the preparations are done. Now, can we finally conclude this meeting? So, have you thought up what you'd like to say, boss? Yep, yep! It's a grand plan and we're all super awesome! <laughs> well said. A good night's rest before an operation can be the difference between success and failure. Huh. Thankfully, I've had my place to myself recently. It's been nice and quiet. Uh-huh. Oh, um, nothing. All right, let's all go home and get a good night's sleep so we can be up early tomorrow. Okay, so I guess that means it's time to say good night now. the wait. Preparations for the celebration are finally done. I'll call everyone over, and then we can start. Let us give you a hand. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe we really should have prepared a gift. Then we could also be a part of the exchange. As it is, all we can do is wait and watch. Um, maybe we shouldn't do this after all. I didn't do that great of a job, and who would even like it? Oh, don't think like that. Remember our promise? We're going to give everyone a pleasant surprise. And besides, you've never attended a celebration event before, so this will be a great opportunity. Everyone will love you. I'm still... not really sure about this. There's nothing to be worried about. Just take a step forward and give yourself a chance. There aren't any scary people here, right? Right. Huh. Alright. Maybe this will help. Everyone! Over here! Inaya has something great to tell you all! W wait Wait! I've already said that I'm not ready yet. Oh, what should I say? Take it easy and relax. Deep breath in and out. Once you've taken a long exhale, calmly tell everyone what you want to say. If you don't say anything, then all the hard work we've put into embroidery practice would have gone to waste. Using it as a gift, though? It really isn't that good. So when Inaya was talking about making a prop, she was actually preparing a present! Yeah, it feels like she still doesn't really see herself as part of this community. But it looks like Milu's trying to ease her through. Actually? Inaya had prepared a special present for everyone before the celebration kicked off. Woohoo! We're gonna get our first present from Miss Inaya! Pipe down! The louder you all are, the more nervous she'll become. You've worked on it for so long, so have some confidence. 
Don't be afraid. You've got this. Uh, Is Mr. Zubair here? Sheikh Zubair, this is an urgent notice from the Academia. This celebration, or whatever it is, must stop at once. What a condescending guy. What's his deal? Since Zubair Theater has long violated the Academia's policies and orders, we have decided to demolish it. As its manager, you must halt all operations and dismiss all staff members within 30 days, after which you will report to the Academia for further punishment. Why? Why force us to do this all of a sudden? Little girl, this is not the first time you've been issued a warning. I didn't hear anything about demolition the last time I asked, and now I suddenly only have 30 days? We have more shows planned, but it's impossible to do anything in just 30 days. How am I supposed to explain this to my customers and staff? That issue is of no concern to me, Mr. Zubair. You seem to understand the situation quite clearly. Perhaps you can reflect on the reasons why you have failed to prepare for the scenario in advance. Demolition? Why do they want to demolish this place? The Academia has never liked us, and they've never respected our work. To them, what we do is all a waste of time. This isn't the first time they've come by. They had asked us several times in the past to improve the quality of our performances by only putting on shows they consider to be sufficiently intellectual. But our audience isn't the Academia. It's the people of the Grand Bazaar. If our shows are too difficult to understand or too removed from everyday life, nobody would watch them anymore. Changing our content would not only mean turning our backs on our vision, it would also directly lead to the loss of our livelihoods. Yeah, the theater is very important to each and every one of us. Hmm. The way they're doing things is so scummy. But I also don't know how we can stop them. I do not wish to explain everything again from the beginning. Time is of the essence, so you should act with haste instead of asking frivolous questions. But none of us plan to accept this. Such an abrupt notice is contrary to established policy. Ask whoever you will. The answer will remain the same. We have already given you sufficient notice. Enough! Does your audacity know no limits, Father? Huh? Father? Their family? What academia? This is all because you don't like Zubair Theater. You're just using the academia's name to threaten us. Let me tell you. Even if you manage to tear down this place, nothing is going to change. You've always been awful. But even I never thought my father would sink this low. This is strictly business. It has nothing to do with where you are, what you do, or what you think. I hope you all have not been irrevocably blinded by folly. I will not waste more time on pointless arguments. Wrap everything up and make preparations to shut down at once. Ah. Why is he always like that? This is quite the misfortune, but there's no...